Nowadays, it seems there's a new drama series popping up every day, what with subscription services like NetTube and Uflix and Face Video Prime. But the proliferation of dramas isn't a new thing. The 80s were chock full of them. So here's 10 80s British drama series you probably forgot about. Number 1, The Nightmare Man, 1981, BBC One. Starring James Warwick and Celia Imrie, this series was a four-parter set on a Scottish island amid a series of horrific murders. During the investigation of these crimes, an unusual craft is discovered on a local beach. The traces left behind by the killer are analysed and it's found that he, or rather it, is carrying high levels of radiation. Things really heat up when the squadron of paratroopers arrive to track the killer down. Number 2, Harry's Game, 1982, ITV. When a British cabinet minister is killed by the IRA, the killer escapes to Belfast to go into hiding. Harry Brown, played by Ray Lonnan, goes undercover to find the murderer. Derek Thompson starred as the wanted man, Billy Downs. And Linda Robson was in this as well. And no matter what she's in, she always just plays Linda Robson, in my opinion. The theme tune to this one is by Clannad. Otherwise, not today. Where's my book? Where's it been put? Come on, Henry. Oops. Number three, Lytton's Diary, nineteen eighty-five to nineteen eighty-six, ITV. So, two seasons then for this one. Sorry, sorry, series. It's hard to accept Peter Bowles as a straight actor, really. Not because he can't do it, but because he was in so many sitcoms in the 80s too, and he always had the same moustache in them. It doesn't help to sell the change in character when they all look exactly the same. This one was about a newspaper gossip columnist named Neville Lytton. Jeez. That is a malicious and distasteful rumour, which, as you well know, is completely untrue. Your trouble, Lytton, is you're such a bad loser. Better to be a bad loser than a bad journalist. My, my, you have done your homework. Here's to the freedom of the press. Long night in June. Number four, All Creatures Great and Small, 1978 to 1990, BBC One. Peter Davison must have shoved his hand up more than his fair share of cows in this one. Set in the Yorkshire Dales, but with hardly anyone having a Yorkshire accent, this was all about the coming and goings of a vet's surgery. This is one of those shows where they swapped out the main character for another actress, with James Herriot's wife being played by Carol Drinkwater initially, and then later by Linda Bellingham. Good afternoon. My name is Harriet. Mr. Farnan is expecting me. He wrote asking me to come today. Could you give him a message when he gets back? Tell him Bert Shat from Barra Hills has got a cow that wants boring out. Boring out? Oh, there was Mr. Biggins here about I... a sick cow. He wanted us, um, you to visit. No, I mean, he didn't want you to visit. He just wanted a tin of stomach powder. Number five, A Bit of a Do, 1989, ITV. David Jason stars as Ted Simcock and Gwen Taylor plays his wife Rita in this comedy drama where each episode would see the characters attending some sort of a social occasion like a wedding or a, or a dinner dance or something like that. The series begins with the wedding of Ted and Rita's son Paul to Lawrence and Liz Ruddenhurst's daughter Jenny. It's here that Ted and Liz start having an affair. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God. Who I don't believe in. His wife died six weeks ago. Oh, Lord. That lentil was splendidly. Nice and friendly. No inhibitions, please. Relax, let it all hang out. Number six, Bullman, 1985 to 1987, ITV. Don Henderson stars as George Bullman, a retired copper with a thing for fixing old clocks. He also does a bit of work on the side as a private investigator with his assistant Lucy, played by Siobhan Redmond. Bullman, G. You're contracted by one Joseph A. Ravel to terminate my existence. Oh, 
Is there any I'll chance do me a favour. A... Darling. I'm not your darling to me. Somebody tried to kill him today with a shotgun. Number seven, Shine on Harvey Moon, 1982 to 1995, ITV. This one went on for a lot longer than I ever remembered. Elizabeth Spriggs was in this, who I really like as an actress, actually, and Kenneth Cranham, who was the bad guy in Chimera. It's a bit more light-hearted than most of the others on this list. Harvey Moon returns home from the Second World War, only to find his missus not really that interested anymore, and his family in all sorts of bother that he's going to have to sort out. Next Friday at nine, shine on Harvey Moon. I hope you and your family are all well. Best wishes, Harriet. It's not what you call torrid, is it? You can't put much in a picture postcard. I'm sick of living in the roof. I didn't go through the blitz to end up living above the flipping Nazis. Troubled times for our hero. Shine on Harvey Moon. Back next Friday at nine on ITV. Number eight, Shoestring, 1979 to 1980, BBC. Just scraping into the 80s there, it's a detective drama which lasted for two series. Eddie Shoestring is the main chap played by Trevor Eve. When Trevor decided to leave, the production company rejigged the show and we got Bergerac as a replacement. Eddie Shoestring had a bit of a nervous breakdown in his previous job as some sort of computer geek or something like that, and he decides to go to what I can only assume is the far more stressful line of work, private investigating. After sorting a case as a radio station, he ends up being hired by them as their private ear rather than private eye. He then gets calls on air about cases that people want solving. Phone! It's for you! What's the matter with yours? It's bus, so I gave your number. Who is it? Radio West, Sonia. I'm sure I did. I'm alone and I need your help. Remember what we pay you for, Eddie. Stick to grass roots, not grass widows. <laughs> oh, I know what you're thinking. But these glasses give me excellent long sight. I put them on on Tuesday night. And do you know, I can see right through that window quite clearly. Number nine, Boone, 1986 to 1995, ITV. Love the theme tune on this one. Michael Elphick stars as Ken Boone, a small-time businessman, private dick, bodyguard, and just whatever you need him to be, basically. Oh, and he's mad on motorbikes. Boone used to be a fireman, but when he rescued a child from a burning house, he did it without breathing gear and damaged his lungs permanently, which meant he couldn't stay on the job. Free enterprise hasn't exactly been your forte. I'd like to keep a watchful eye on you. Thank you, Harry. Oi! Is there much damage? You could say that. And number 10, The Day of the Triffids, 1981, BBC One. Just the titles of this used to scare me. This one's about a mob of carnivorous plants that can move about and they're cultivated for their oil. And they have this deadly sting which makes the oil even better. So these stings are left in the plants. In addition to this, there's a meteor shower that happens and it blinds almost everyone in the country, leaving them defenceless against the marauding evil cabbage monsters. A global catastrophe threatens humanity with a deadly form of plant life. Triffid sting, right? Yes, that's right. I, I work on a Triffid farm. John Dutton stars in The Day of the Triffids on Wednesday at 7.40 on BBC One. And there you have it. Ten 80s drama series that you probably forgot about. Did I miss any out? You let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends, and all that good stuff. Bye for now.